Good evening, soccer fans, and welcome to Elizabethtown High School for the fifth regional championship boys soccer game between North Harden and Central Harden. And this is Dwayne Ellis along with Bobby Thompson. We've just been reminiscing about the evolution of baseball <laughs> in high school and college. <coughs> Bob, what do you think tonight? Well, I think they're getting ready to go down. Our starting lines will turn it over to our PA announcer to get those first. Dominic Barron. <laughs> Number eight, senior Hunter Zerda. <laughs> Number 11, senior Darnell Williams. <laughs> Number 12, senior Jamal Rashid. <laughs> Number 14, junior Alex Blair. <laughs> Number 18, senior Honolulu Rogerio. Number 20, senior Tyler Bennett. <laughs> Number 23, senior Anthony Baltonado. <laughs> Number 24, senior Scott Nelson. <laughs> and in the goal, number 26, junior Tyler Pocaranti. <laughs> Trojans are coached by head coach James Stone and assistant coach D'Angelo Now for the home team on the scoreboard, the Central Harden Bruins. North Harden Trojans under coach Jim Stone. It'll be Lucas Putherancy, Dominic Barrick, Hunter Serna, Darnell Williams, Jamal Rashid, Alex Blair, Anulo Rogerio, Tyler Medic, Anthony Maldonado, Scott Nelson, and in the goal will be Tyler Putherancy. For Central Harden, Peter Kingman, Will Dorn, Luke Luckett, Cody Tribus, Tribuan Swing, Cody Hall, Zach Mueller, Austin Melcher, Ben Borgadine, Eli Best, and in the goal for the 14 and 7 Bruins will be Garrett Shaw. These two teams uh, split their regular season matchup. Central Harden won on August 24th, 2 to 1 in overtime. And then North Harden came out victorious on the 31st of August, 1 0. Less than a week ago, they met in the district championship. Central Harden pulled that one out 2 0. Uh, I will say this as we were walking on the field earlier today. It was the quietest I've heard players uh, before a game on both sides. Um, Coach Maddox mentioned it to him when I was talking to him. Um, just that he thought they were more focused today. After last night's win, um, they did a pregame today. They were a little bit more uh, in tune with what they wanted to do and a little bit more focused. I talked to Coach Stone, and he said, you know, last week they came out and uh, we're not as focused. They already knew they were going to be in the region tournament. They didn't uh, put a whole lot into that district game. Uh, and he said his team is refocused. And he said, wow, they've got a lot of friends on both sides of this. Uh, North Harden, I think, is going to come out and play with a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. Expected to be a really strong defensive game. But the yeah, I agree. I, I don't think that North played like they wanted to. And you're right, Central's in the white, but their numbers are easy to see. Yes, it's not white with yellow. <laughs> Rashid's going to send that one up the sidelines. That'll go out of bounds. Tribe is to throw it in for the Bruins. Central Harden attacking to our left and North defending that goal. 
North will be attacking to the right. Barrick with it now. He'll drop it back to Rashid. Last night, Central Harden wins 6-0 over Nelson County. North Harden advances after a 5-0 victory over Bethlehem. Under Cerno, who usually is number nine, will be number eight tonight for North Harden in black. He had an assist last night as he actually had a corner kick that uh, Rashid knocked in. Actually headed in. Quite a beautiful play. Central Harden going to try to get it to Luke Luckett, their leading scorer on the season. Mueller gets it back for Central. Good pass down the left corner, but North able to kick it out. Kutharansi will kick it out, throw in for the Bruins. Luckett. He just bounces one in. Back to oh. Luckett. That'll go off Luckett. It'll be a goal kick for the uh, Trojans. And let me see. We have, I believe this is Rashid. Rashid. And he has got quite, you know, this, this should end up out near midfield. Get up near the 40. Hall right Good. back with it for the Bruins. Interception there by Center Harden. And down in the Cerner going to kick it out for the Trojans. Privas there to track it down. <laughs> Coach Maddox mentioned Darnell Williams, the uh, player for North Harden. He felt that a lot of their offense went through him. Player they were going to have to watch on the defensive end. That'll go off the Bruins. And Lewis Puzzaranzi tossing in. Mueller with an interception and <laughs> battles for control. But, uh, North Barrett got that. Melcher comes over, gets it back for the Bruins. Sarno will track it down for North. And he moves it back to Jamal Rashid. <clears throat> go off Rashid. It'll be a throw in for the Bruins. Just short of midfield. Intercepted by Mueller there. Trying to get in. Cleared out by Blair. Here early in the game, it seems like the entire game has been played on that offensive end for <laughs> the Central Hart. <laughs> it has been. We sent up Kingman able to track this one down for the Bruins. North now on their offensive end. Barry can get that outside. I don't think Maldonado will be able to chase it down. It'll be a throw in. As Doran will throw it in. That pass was just a little far off. Too much lead. Blair, Blair. with a good move. And a good, got in the front of that one. Good throw block by Central Harden. Boutheronzi again throwing in. Back to Boutheronzi. Passes over to Barrick. And Jamal on the left side. Cerna being harassed that time <laughs> by Melcher. Throw in. Say it goes off north. It'll be a throw in for the Bruins. Oh, they're going to call handball. <laughs> as the ball was being kicked around. Best to take this one. Medic was the one. All with it for the Bruins. Across. Trying to get it to Luckett. Luckett able to track it down, but Putheranti there to clear it out for the Trojans. Central had two there in position. It was just the timing wasn't just right on the pass. Oop. <laughs> Out of bounds off of number three, uh, Will Doran. So it will be a North Harden throw in. Mueller again. Kingman going to send that back down the other direction. Maddox will be there for the Trojans.
We're getting outside to Tribus. The hall. <laughs> Melcher with it to the corner. I believe Cerna got that one from behind. <laughs> I'm dropping my notes and everything up here. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. It'll be a goal kick for the Trojans. And Rashid, Jamal Rashid again boots that one down. Right at midfield, North Harden. Nelson with the ball. A lead pass here to trying to get to number 20. No, it's number 23. Uh, Maldonado. Both of these teams with several seniors. North Harden on their roster, 11 seniors, 9 seniors listed for Central Harden. A block there. Passing over on this side, Lewis Putheranzi. Dorn comes up. He's going to get it outside to sing. Trying to get a run out. Good move. Medic there to get in the way for the <laughs> Trojans. And Blair will clear it out near midfield to Rogerio. That'll be a high kick on Rogerio. The central Harden ball. Well, I'm about to 48. Just like Hall, Cody Hall take from. this one. Hall and Mueller do a lot of the uh, directing of the team for Central. A lot of their offense goes through those two players. We're going to try to keep it to Melcher. That's going to actually, Melcher <laughs> hits it off Cerna. Be a throw in for the Bruins. Tribe is to do this. And Pucarazzi feels that one. We'll put the ball back into play. A yeah, good kick just across midfield. Best gets to that one. He'll send it right back up to Hall. Side for Melcher. Hall back with it. Pass. Now in the box, shot. Just wide left. Wide left. left. <laughs> Didn't miss by much. No. And that's the thing. Luckett does not need a lot of room to get a shot off. And uh, talking to some of the North Harden players, what they wanted to do with him was to keep his back to the goal, really stay in <laughs> front of him and keep him moving away from the goal. That time, half of a pass from Cody Hall. Uh, and it was a, a bad angle. A good job by North to, to force him to the outside before he could get the shot off. But he is one he does not need a lot of space to kind of clear and uh, and shoot the ball. Well, we played the first ten minutes here, Bobby, and I have to say Central Harden has had the ball on their end, offensive end of the field biggest part of that time. Singing Rosario going after it. That'll go off North Harden to throw in for the Bruins. Doran to take this one. Drops it back to Kingman. Medic with the ball right across midfield. Little blue pass there. To, that is stolen by number Singh seven. Got Singh got it. Send it up to Luckett. Rashid comes over to cover him. That'll be cleared out by Blair. Throw in for the Bruins. Rosario going to send it outside for Maldonado. Eric actually gets that one <laughs> off his knee. Shaw will come out and pick it up for the Bruins. 
And a reminder, yeah. tomorrow night we'll be back on the air. We'll have football action as North Harden will travel to Central Harden. And football, kickoff time set there for 7.30. Next scheduled live broadcast will be next Friday night as North Harden football will host the Doss Dragons on their senior night. Mueller with the ball. That one's going to pop out near Lucas Putharansi. And pass down with the defense is there for. Best will drop it back for Shaw. Shaw just will send it outside to Kingman. Doran going to send that one down. Looks like it's going to be rolling out of bounds. Be a throw in. Some substitutions for North. Carrick Luigi. And he's replacing Maldonado. Maldonado. I'll go off Kingman out of bounds. Another throw in for the Trojans. Medic to throw this one in. Mueller broke that one up. Comes back to me. And oh, nice kept, <laughs> he kept the ball too long that time. It's, they had some numbers over here on the right side. Luigi just into the game. He gets the ball. Actually will go off of him. That'll be a throw in. Doran just throw this one in for the Bruins. Luigi with it. Doran gets back to poke that one out of bounds. Throw he in broke for that the Trojans. <laughs> Throw in by Barrick. Singh going to send this one out in the middle of the field. i will go off Kutherensi. Throw in again for the Bruins. Singh throwing in too. Lucky. Going for the Trojans. Luigi throwing in here for North Harden. <laughs> Trying to get to Williams. Doran mishandle it. So uh, kick it out of bounds to be another throw in. 26-38 to go here in this opening half. Scoreless between the Trojans and the Bruins. The winner will take on it's just going to be somebody out of the sixth region, which is made up of St. X, Trinity. Ballard and Collegiate. Melcher with it on the far side. He'll leave it back for Tribus. It seems like for about the past three or four minutes, the ball's been <laughs> primarily down on this end of the field as North Harden's had the ball in their offensive end. But haven't been able to get any kind of a clear shot, have they? No. That's the thing you talked about in the pregame. Is this will probably be a defensive battle. That's what we expect. So far, really just one shot all night. Truly a shot that, on goal. Right. By Luckett. Throw in for the Trojans. Barrick with the ball. They pass it back to Jamal Rashid, and he'll kick it out. Over on the left side. Slipped. Sorry, I said sixth region. It'll be the seventh region. It's actually who they will play. They already had the draw. It'll be a throw in for the Bruins. Are they playing their finals tonight too at seventh region? They have their semifinals are tonight. Oh, okay. St. X will play Trinity and DuPont Manual. Actually, I said Collegiate. I meant DuPont Manual and Ballard will play. Blair there with it for the Trojans. Pass into. Borgadine poked that one free. Throw in for Ruggiero and the Trojans. 
Luck will kick that one out. <laughs> Another throw in. And down to Williams. Good pass in there. The North has maybe their best. <laughs> Opportunity best got in the way of that shot. Now Luigi with it. Tried <laughs> to poke it through, and Dorn going to kick it over the end line, and now it'll be a corner kick. And Hunter Cerna usually takes these, and this is the exact corner he was in last night. A shot as we see Jamal Rashid come up from his defensive position. Um, Rashid a little bit taller, about 6'2", 6'3". Um, Cerna, able to jump. Cerna is there to take the corner kick. Send it to the far side. Bounced around. <laughs> Cleared out by the Bruins. Not sure exactly who that was. Stolen by Blair. And Williams that try, trying to just one touch it about the 18 yards out from the goal. Shaw comes up with it. Didn't have enough on that one to get it past the goalkeeper. Didn't quite catch it square. Luigi with it. Euler takes it away. <laughs> center to Hall. Outside for Singh. Singh on the left. Trying to pass to Hall. Back down in the corner and out of bounds off north. Comes in to number Doran. three, Doran. I guess through Tyler Pithrancy comes out and makes a good stop. That ball just went over Medic's head. Run of Luckett. A good pass there in the middle to Barrick. Williams trying to get another run out. Drops off Nelson. <laughs> It'll be Kingman that clears it. Jamal passes into the middle there to Alex Blair over to Lewis Putheranzi and back to Blair. Back out now. Putheranzi across field. Cerner going to get it on the far side. Tribus comes out for the Bruins. That'll be a goal kick <laughs> for Central. Nearly halfway through tonight's first half. 21-15 to go. Still scoreless. They had one really good opportunity for Central. North hasn't had a strong shot on goal. They had a couple of openings, but Central stepped in there, broke him up. Medic got that to Rosario, gets it outside to Nelson. Back to Rosario. Over on this side. To Bear, going to send it to the corner. Best going after it for Central. They'll hold off Rosario and say goal kick. I thought it went out on the side. Yeah, I did too. I thought it went out to the left side of that. Um, of the corner stick. They're going to say it's a goal kick. So it'll go to Shaw. A good kick out across midfield. Blair and Hall going after it there. Barrick gets it for the Trojans. Side to Luigi. Back to Barrick. Good forward pass broken up. Kingman sends it back out. Medic comes up, heads it. That'll go out of bounds and a throw in for the Bruins. Doran here at the 40. Broken up by North. The 
Luigi, I mean, sorry, Rosario with it, trying to get the hall. <laughs> and they'll let that go all the way through, and Shaw will be able to pick it up. Shaw kicks this one long. Down to the 35. But North has it. Cerna with it. And Cerna usually number nine. It's number eight tonight. And he clears it back to Jamal Rashid. Comes over on this side. And Tyler Medic. Blair, Alex Blair with the ball right now. Takes it back across to Jamal Rashid. Serna drops it back to Rashid. Serna with it. <laughs> now Barrick with it. There's a Rosario trying to get it to Williams. And couldn't get that pass through there. That Central really closes in around Williams when he gets it. Other players are getting some. And there's going to be a foul. Be a free kick for Central. But other players have a little bit more room. As soon as Williams gets to the ball, <laughs> it seems like there's two or three defenders that just close in around him. Not giving him really any space. Hall going to send that one outside. Back to Hall in the middle. Over on this side to Doran. Trying to get it up to Mueller. Melcher with it. A good pass out that time by Alex Blair. Is that That's Nelson Scott Nelson. Rivas on the defense. The Williams. Williams able to keep it inbounds. That's is to Barry. Trying to go to the corner and throw in for Central. Both teams have subs. It's like Lauren Trout. I believe Xander Allen. Four. See number nine. I'm not. That's Lauren Trout for North. It'll be Noah Crispert. I didn't quite get the other number. Maldonado checked back into the lineup for North Harden. Trout with the ball. Try to get it to the center. This Hall came up to get that one. And North with the ball now. Luigi with it like he's changed spots as Noah Crisper comes into the game. The line for North is Noah Crisper. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Will be. Actually, I think there's going to be a foul called on North. Okay, so central yes. With the free kick. Hall to take this one. Goes high in the air. Blair got to it. With Renzi comes back, and Blair going to try to clear it out. And will to be a throw in for the Bruins. Oh, throwing in to the middle of the. And, it hit it. and it's in! Luke Luckett with the goal. The right place at the right time. 15 13 to go here in the first half. Luke Luckett. Throwing it over on the side. That the Cody Hall with the assist. And Central goes up 1 0. And look, it made a run <laughs> from probably about 15 yards out and closed in pretty quickly as uh, the ball came to him. An excellent throw by Cody Hall.
Barrett ready to put the ball back in play for North. Alex Blair with a long kick down the left side. Central. All with it to try this. Orgadine with it. And there's going to be a foul on the Trojans. Free kick for Central Harden. Hall going to send this one down to the corner. Kutherancy there to head it away. Throw in for the Bruins. And Slate. Will Doran over here to throw in. <laughs> Kingman across the field. Oh, kind of. Allen tried to track that one down. Be North Harden ball. Barrick with it over to Cerna. Back in the middle here to. Again, it's Maldonado, but Kingman comes up, takes it away. Gets it down to Luckett. Luckett will drop it back to Mueller. Luckett going to take a shot there. Tyler Putherenzi catches it on the short hop. That was a good shot from where he was. Actually, here at this field, uh, he actually had a kickoff. That went in the goal against uh, Elizabethtown <laughs> earlier this year. Caught the uh, goalie a little far out from the goal. And uh, I'd never seen it before, but it was quite impressive. <laughs> Barrick now with it back to Cerna. And if you're Central Harden now with a 1-0 lead, I don't think you want to sit back at all. I think you want to continue to apply the same pressure that you've had. Jackson, Jackson with the ball with it. here. That's going to go out. Out of bounds. Throw in for the Bruins. Yeah, I think they will too, Bobby. I just, you know, you don't stop with a one point lead. Tribune Singh back into the ballgame along with Austin Melcher for uh, the Trojans. Or sorry, for the Bruins. And Nalo Ruggiero checks back in. While they're doing that, they want to. This is a Hardin County. Education Community Television Student Production, HCEC TV, the Division of Hardin County Schools, and our live Channel One programming is sponsored in part by. We'll get back to our sponsors. Okay, that one's out of bounds. So, Brandenburg okay. Telecom provides service for all of your telecommunication needs. The physical Therapy Associates giving more personal attention for more effective results with locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgesville, Rackley, Brandenburg, Bardstown, and Louisville. Online at physicaltherapyky.com and we'll get to some other sponsors the next break. A little push and shove there. I thought that one might have been a foul. <coughs> etownapartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Take a virtual tour today by etownapartments.com and Bluegrass Cellular offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere where wireless works. Visit us at bluegrasscellular.com. Etown Exterminating 737-6900 or online at mugabug.com. And Cody Hall here is ready to take the kick for him. Trying to send it in. Knocked uh, out uh, seeing with the shot. It goes off the goal post. Uh, football <laughs> goal post. Be a goal kick for the Trojans. That follow up was a was a good opportunity, just a little high. Jamal passes down across midfield. And Best tries to get it up the hall. Back to Tri Trevis. Really, the ball just going back and forth between the two teams. <laughs> Most played in the middle 30 yards <laughs> of the field. Rogerio with it. He's going to try to poke it forward, get it to Maldonado. Oh. Dorn does a good job coming back. Dorn broke that one up, didn't he? Kingman <laughs> sends it out near midfield. Now Mueller, Mueller with it. Thing passing into the middle. And Hall with some space drops it Luckett. off for Luckett. Luckett just trying to spot to kick in. Tries to poke that one free as Melcher was on the right side. Tyler Putherenzi comes up and scoops it up. Defense 
swarmed around him there when he got that one. And I think that luck is to a point in the, where he just expects that every every <laughs> game that they play in. He just has so many goals for the Bruins. And he can score a bunch of different ways. We saw earlier the head in off of the throw in from Hall. Cern are going to dump this one off. Trying to get it to Nelson. We have offsides called on the Trojans. And our last sponsor here is West Point Bank with five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Or find them online at westpointbank.com. Let us help make life simpler. West Point Bank, hometown banking made simple. You can tune in weekly for rebroadcast of all local HCEC TV programs on Brandenburg Telecom, Comcast Cable Channel 2, and Spectrum Communications on Channel 184. Yeah, we're down under the 10-minute mark. Now in the first half, it's one to nothing Central. Throw in for the Trojans. Best heads that one back out. Another throw in for the Trojans. Nelson will come over and pick it up. This comes through, kicks that out. Blair got to it. Cody Hall is going to get it for the Bruins, though. We'll drop it off to the side to Singh. Singh going to get it up to Luckett. Luck it. And it's going to go to Singh near the midfield. And closing quickly was Barrick. It kind of made him <laughs> alter that shot. There's going to go wide to the right. Another goal kick for the Trojans. Good defensive move. He was almost in position for a good shot. Puth Aronsi ready to kick this one back out. The Barrett at the 35. North with the ball. Jackson here on this side. Passing to Barrett. Back to Jackson. Back to Barrett. Toward the middle. Passing back and across to Jamal Rashid. He stops. Crossover. Comes back this way to Medic. And long pass down the field there to Nelson Scott with Nelson. The ball. And Tribe is going at it. Drops off for Rogerio. Back to Nelson. Tries to kick through the defense. Williams with it over in the corner. And as soon as he gets to it, it's two players surrounding him. I think they're going to have a foul. Actually, they're going to call offsides on Williams. Be a free kick for the Bruins. Other action today, girls cross country. Sarah Bean from Elizabethtown won the conference meet, and it was Josiah Hart from Central Harden that won the boys cross country conference meet. Rogerio tries to clear that one. It goes nice. off all. Throw in for the Trojans. Jackson with the throw in. Throwing down the sideline. Maldonado gets a foot on into Williams. Go into the corner. Drive us there. Drive us able to poke it away. Out of bounds and another throw in for the Trojans. 6.30 to go here in the opening half. Central Harden on top, 1-0. 15-13 to go in this first half. Cody Hall with a throw in to Luke Luckett. Luckett heads it into the goal for the Bruins. Over on this side to Jackson. Into the middle barrack. It's behind him and Central Harden intercepts. Orgeting quickly up to Luckett. We're going to try to get it to the outside to Singh. Singh with the ball and... Trying to chip it forward. Looks like Medic able to come to it. He'll get Luckett out of the way. Hey. Medic still with the ball. <laughs> the Mueller gets it. And that's where you can get in trouble. Is the defender pushes too far up. Leaves an open hole behind him. Hall with it in the middle of the field. Drops it off to Borgadine. Outside to Melcher. Back over to, to Mueller. Not able to play that one on the cross. Dorn and Barrett going to chase after it. Back to Kingman. 
Maldonado <laughs> breaking through to get a foot on that one. Best now with it. Drop it outside for Travis. Travis. They'll luck it down at a 30. Get it off the hall. Rogerio providing the defensive pressure there. Like Rasheed cleared it. Kingman will send it right back. Hall down on the field. They're just continuing to play. It'll go out. Hall will get up. Now we're surprised. Well, of course, it's, it was still in play here on the offensive end, so I guess that's why the official didn't whistle the ball. But he was down for a few seconds. Throw in by Jackson for the Trojans. And usually after that happens, they will basically give it back over to the other team. They'll send it to the other end and reset their offense. I like a sportsmanship. It's an understood rule. Nelson with the ball, passing in. Certainly now, or sorry, Nelson with it again. After all, steals the ball again and starts across midfield. All Good. with it. We try to poke it forward. Good little loop pass there. And <laughs> just to, too tall for Luckett. She to, got to it. He tried to set Luckett up with that one. Best steps in and heads that one back out near midfield to Mueller. Good pass outside to Melcher. That'll go off Travis and a throw in for the Trojan. Three minutes to go here in the first half. I think Hall got a hit on that or Mueller. May have been Mueller. Dorn out to Singh. Jackson providing the defense for the Trojans. To Luckett. Luckett going to. Broken up there, man. Alex Blair. Blair. There's going to be a throw in, but there are substitutions. Let's see that number. That'd be Wells Four. Emery, 13. Checking in. It yes. is. It is. Emery. The Borgading spot. Travis outside to sing. North. And stolen back by Central. Back at midfield, and they clear it out back now to Will Dorn here on the. Emory not able to get to that one. Williams going to try to poke it forward. Maldonado there. Best is going to kind of escort the ball back <laughs> to Garrett Shaw. Pick it up. A yeah, minute and 35 in the first half. One to nothing. Central. Alex Blair passing over Jamal Rashid. And Down to Scott Nelson. Side to Cerna. Mueller able to poke it away to Singh. And now Luckett gets a little run and Medic quickly over there for the Trojans to turn it back. Under a minute to go. Shaw will come out, get that one. Another good kick by Shaw. I would like two players hit the heads together. <laughs> Nelson with it to Barrett. Good move by Barrett. Get around the defensive man. Pass. Makes it through to Rogerio, trying to get it to Nelson. Which almost like too many passes in two <laughs> close quarters. 
Defense. Trojan. Defense is too stiff down there. To Blair gets it away. Maldonado with it. Left foot. And Shaw scoops right. it up. Right to him. By the time Shaw kicks this one away, it'll be halftime. And the first half ends. Central one to nothing over North. This is a Hardin County Educational Community Television Student Production. HDC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel One programming is sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results with locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Brandenburg, Bargetown, Radcliffe, and Louisville. Online at physicaltherapyky.com. Etownapartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Take a virtual tour today at etownapartments.com. Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere where wireless works. Online at bluegrasscellular.com. Etown Exterminating, 270-737-6900. Online at mugabug.com. And West Point Bank, with five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. Online at westpointbank.com. We'll be back after a short timeout with first half stats and analysis and second half action. Channel 2, Spectrum Communications, Channel 184, and on our YouTube site. Also check out our live sporting events on nfhs.com or visit us at hudden.k12.ky.us. Hudden County Educational and Community Television located in Hudden County, Kentucky, a division of Hudden County Schools, airing on Brandenburg, Comcast, and Spectrum, and also streaming online. Providing live coverage of local high school sports. Covering community and school events while teaching students along the way. HCEC TV, the area's leading educational and government access channel, training the next generation of media arts students. Control your home even when you're not there with Brandenburg Telecom's home automation service. Turn lights on and off, lock and unlock doors, and change settings on your thermostat using your smartphone or tablet. Stop worrying whether or not you remember to close the garage door and save money by programming your thermostat to reduce energy used when you're not home. Call Brandenburg Telecom for a free quote and enjoy the convenience of having home automation, phone, TV, and internet service, all from one local company. All right, son, you ready to open your first savings account? Yes, I am. West Point Bank has been growing with our customers for over 30 years. We know what it takes to support them in every stage of their life. You need a bank that you know and trust to help you reach your goals and make your dreams come true. West Point Bank, hometown banking made simple. You have a choice because not all physical therapy is the same. So when you need physical therapy, come to the one chosen as Hardin County's Reader's Choice winner four years in a row. We are always working to better educate and stay ahead of the latest advancements in physical therapy. Physical therapy can get you back doing what you love to do. If you're experiencing pain, loss of mobility, or just want to feel better, come see us at Physical Therapy Associates in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Hodgenville, and now open in Brandenburg. Hey, Elizabethtown, need a new pad? Hop on over to etownapartments.com or call 268-RENT for all your rental needs. Look for our trucks, they're all over town. We have apartments, townhomes, duplexes, and houses. Remember to hop on over to etownapartments.com or call 
rent for all your rental needs. With a more complete nationwide network and faster data speeds, Bluegrass Cellular helps you stay connected to your community. With people who take the time to connect with you, you'll always feel like you're part of ours. Throughout October, our most popular phones come with a 25% off treat. Choose from a range of iconic phones like the LG G6, LG V20, Samsung Galaxy S8, and S8 Plus for 25% off. Bluegrass Cellular, within reach. Town Exterminating, a locally owned, family-run pest control company, has been serving Hardin County and the surrounding area since 1976. E-Town Exterminating provides pest control for residential and commercial properties. E-Town Exterminating on Ring Road in Elizabethtown. Phone 737-6900. E-Town Exterminating. What the buzz is all about. For additional information on HCC TV programming, call 270-769-8855 or email gina.ryan at hardin.kyschools.us. On behalf of HCEC TV, we would like to thank all of our live sports coverage sponsors. Welcome back to Elizabethtown High School for the second half of this 5th Region Boys Soccer Championship. <coughs> Central Harden leading North Harden 1 to nothing as Luke Luckett poked one in at 15. 13 left in the first half and it's been a real defensive struggle out here mostly in the middle of the field throughout the first half. <coughs> Again, this is Hardin County Education Community Television Studio Production and HCEC TV's Division of Hardin County Schools. Our live Channel 1 program is sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom. 
Physical Therapy Associates, eTownApartments.com, Bluegrass Cellular, eTown Exterminating, and West Point Bank. We want to recognize our crew, camera crew tonight here under the direction of Mr. C.J. Carroll. We have student director Sabrina Bergman, uh, graphics, um, Sierra Reed, and on camera we have Alex Greer and Nigel Martin. <clears throat> this is Dwayne Ellis along with Bobby Thompson, and we're just about ready to start. Central Harden will kick the ball from center here to start the second half. They are attacking to our right and North Harden will be attacking to the left. Beautiful evening out here at the <coughs> Panther Stadium and we have good turnout with fans. The weather is just perfect for uh, football, soccer, just about anything. Be a good <laughs> evening for a baseball game. But <coughs> North with the ball now. Uh, Jamal Rashid up to Barrett, over to Rashid, and good stop, pass back, cross to Alex Blair on 45. And where most of the action has taken place, out in the middle of the field so far. Seeing with it on the far side, with Rancy there for the defensive pressure. He's going to be able to cross middle. it. Header by Luckett. Yep. Melcher not going to be able to get to it. <clears throat> That's going to go off of... He pointed to a corner kick. I didn't see who it oh, went I off of. I didn't either. I thought it went off of Melcher. Okay. Cody Hall will come down and take this corner. Look, it was just in the right place there, but <clears throat> he was couldn't knock it in. Okay, defense gets set up. <laughs> Look, it tried to head that or kick that one in, bounced around, Singh with the shot, it's in. <laughs> just slipped right by. Tribute one, Singh with the goal. As it was bounced around off the corner. A couple of different Bruins got to it, and then Singh puts it back into the back of the net. I believe that one just slipped between one of the North Harden defensive players and <clears throat> Poutheronsi. I don't think he saw it until it was right there on top of him. But Central Harden goes on top, two to nothing here at 38-16 in the second half. Just a minute 44 into the second half. And now North Harden definitely going to have to put a lot of pressure. Probably going to have to try to take some chances to get some scores. Barrett to Matic, uh, Barrett. Over here to Cerna. Back to the middle to Alex Blair. Over on the far side to Putharansi. Blair heads that one back down. <laughs> Trying to get it to Nelson. Central able to keep it in play. That's going to go off of Central. Throw in for the Trojans. Euler headed that one. <laughs> to Borgadine. Here comes Maldonado. We're going to have a foul on North. That'll be a free kick for the Bruins. A little too much contact. All back to take this kick. Just inside the 50 as the defense. Gets Eli set. Best moves down there, one of the taller <laughs> players. And the ball's going to be actually kicked towards him. <laughs> Heads it towards the middle. Cerna able to get it out of the box. Maldonado with it now. And moving down this sideline. Stop. Back. Over Over off Cerna. Set up. Over to the middle to Alex Blair. Hey, 
with Renzi with it driving up the right side. Kingman with the defense. It's off Kingman's foot. With Renzi remains in control of the ball to Barrick. They kind of clear it out back again. Right at the 50. Central's defense has been able to close up the passing lanes into the middle. North hasn't really had much opportunity to move the ball in the middle for a decent shot. I go off the Bruins, throwing for the Trojans. Single get that ball back to Mueller. <laughs> I'm going to send it back where a couple of Trojans were at. Barrett with passes that broken up by Thomas Trevis comes out. It'll be a foul on Trevis as he and Cerner get tangled up. <laughs> Central Hard and Faithful sitting right near our booth. Not agreeing with that call. And Jamal Rashid getting ready to kick here from about the 37. Sort of cross field. Melcher Trying with it. Barrett gets a hitter on it. It's up in the air. Williams. That's and again, you see about five uh, Bruins back there in the box. Trying to close in on any pass. Melcher gets the ball. Tries to poke it forward. Cerner going to get it for the Trojans. Brings it back to Medic, back to. Luther Renzi on the far side gets it to Ruggiero. And over here to Barrick. Lifts the high pass there into the middle. Luther Renzi will get it to Maldonado. Shot Shaw there <laughs> and scoops it up. Good look that time for the Trojans. Maldonado. One hopper to Shaw. Maddox will come back and track this one down. Singh going to get it back for the Bruins. Hall was offside, so he just let the ball go into the corner. Trojans track it back down, kick it out, but it'll be the Bruins with the ball. Blair trying to get it up to Williams. Best comes up, picks it high in the air. Sing with it. Sorry, that was Let's the hall. Pass over here to Melcher. Sorry, Mel kicks that one out. Break that one up. Trevis to throw it in. Jamal Rashid was able to. Well, oh, he <laughs> kicked around. Don't want Luckett it. comes with a, a little limp out of that pack as they went in there. And that went out of bounds in the end zone, so it will be, looks like Cerna is going to kick, kick this one. 32-30 to go here in the ball game. Central up 2-0 on the Trojans. Yeah. And North Williams gets the breakaway. Shaw, slide tackle, gets the ball, yeah. and then gets to it. <laughs> Breaks it up and then gets it. A deflection himself. As Williams had the run out. Good job by Shaw. Ball just headed Sorry. around several times. Maldonado. The Barrett come over on this side of Maldonado. No, he kind of slipped and lost the balance. To throw it in. <laughs> throw in for the Bruins.
Maldonado again, and well, <laughs> but he does get it to Williams still with the ball. That'll be kicked off. It's going to go off the Bruins. Trojan throw in. Barrick to take this one. Trying to get that one into Williams. Melcher cleared out for the Bruins. Goes out of bounds and another throw in for the Trojans. Rogerio with it. <laughs> Orgadine comes through and kicks it out. Player going to drop it off for Putheranci. Over on the sideline. Well, it's north ball. Scott Nelson with this throw in. It'll be headed around. Shaw yep. again in the right place. Let's scoop that one up. Didn't have a lot of oomph on that one. Good break up there by Medi. Nelson now Putheranzi with the ball. We kicked out by Will be a Kingman. North throw in on the far side. I believe it's Medic coming up. Throw this one in, or is that Blair? Barrett with the ball passes back out here. To... No, that that must be Nelson over there. Blair's over here in the middle. Headed that time by Best. Doesn't quite get it out. Doran and Williams going after it. That'll go off Williams and be a <laughs> goal kick for the Bruins. That'll get Xander Allen and Lauren Trout into the game for the Bruins. Melcher and Singh will take a seat. Shaw to take this goal kick. And they'll just bring it downfield. They can they can use the clock now, really with a two point lead. <coughs> they don't have to rush anything. Medic with the throw in. Over to Barrett. Over on this side to Cerna. Back to Barrett. Back to Alex Blair. Over on the right to Putheranzi. And long pass down there to... I think they're just hoping to catch someone in a good position with pass down into the middle. Now on the Bruins, free kick for the Trojans. Rashid coming over to take this one. Just dropped it off for Cerna. Cerna going to send it into the box. <laughs> Headed out by the Bruins. Yeah, Trout was able to kick it. it in, but North sends it back into the box. Cerna now with the ball. <laughs> it's going to go well. Too much under that goal. one. Well over the goal. A Got goal it. kick for the Bruins. Shaw gets ready. Put the ball back into play. We'll see if he really boots one this time. Or yeah, he kicks it pretty well. Not one of his longer ones, but over midfield. Have a foul on the Trojans. It'll be a free kick for the Bruins. Hall to take this one. And Eli Beskin went all the way down from his defensive position. It's into the box. This one's going to go over near Luckett. Headed out by Blair. Nelson to Barrett. Trout able to get to that one. He'll kick it out of bounds. A substitution for the Trojans. Carrick Luigi back into the lineup. And Maldonado going out. Knocked out again by Central Harden. 
Nelson with another throw in. Williams That'll be a foul <laughs> on North. <coughs> Good long kick there by Central. And they get it through, but North Blair with it. Passes back to Putheranzi on the side. Comes back to Jamal Rashid. He passes over here to Cerna. Down to Barrick and stolen by Miller. <laughs> Foul on North. No yeah. free kick for the Bruins. They kind of double teamed him and squeezed him there. <clears throat> yeah, the clock is not North Harden's friend now. 25 20 to go here in this ball game. 2 0 lead for the Bruins. Cerno with the ball. Mueller providing the defensive pressure. That'll be a foul on Mueller. Free kick for the Trojans. Down to Williams. He goes back out to number 18, Ruggiero. Over on this side to Cerna. Passes down to Barrett. Back to Cerna. No. Barry just followed his own pass into number 15, Ruggiero. Broken up by the Bruins. Brennison to the outside. Putharanci there for the Trojans. Trying to get it up to Nelson. Travis kicks it out. Throw in for North. And we have a substitution for Central. We're getting back into the lineup. Maldonado back in for the Trojans. Mueller with it. Trying to get it to Allen via foul on the Trojans. And for the most part tonight's been a very clean game between the two. A couple of times pushing and shoving, but nothing uh, over aggressive. They look mainly all trying to get possession of the ball. Luigi goes up the sidelines. He a throw in for the Bruins. Allen and Luigi kind of got tangled up. All with the ball now for the Bruins. And as I say, it hasn't been chippy. We're going to get a yellow <laughs> card issued. Now they're not all. Maldonado. Chipping. Now get Darnell Williams back into the lineup for the Trojans. All to take this free kick. <laughs> Sends that one out. Tyler Putherancy there. Just an easy catch for him and a good kick out here by Putharasi and Scott Nelson will throw in on the far side Eric will send it outside for Cerna. Trying to find some room. Cody Hall there for the Bruins. Get up to Mueller. Oh, or sorry, Allen yeah. just beyond his throw in. Cerna quickly with the throw in, trying to get it to Luigi. I go off the Bruins, another Trojan throw in. 
Sarna lifts one up, trying to get Williams maybe. Best and then Kingman both with a head. Hall comes out of it for the Bruins. North steals it. And Central gets it back. Trout with the ball now on the far side. Tried to get it past Nelson. Nelson just got enough on it that Putherancy comes out with it. Get it up to Barrett. <laughs> and that's Cody Hall back with it for the Bruins. So back to Kingman. I'm going to come to this side to Best. To Vorganding. North with the ball now. Barrett gets it. Good stop. Passes back. Cerna with the ball. Out to the middle to Alex Blair. Drops it off for Putherancy. Trying to get it to Maldonado on that side. Central knocks it out. Be North throw in. Luigi with it. <laughs> Started to take a shot there. I believe it was Allen who got in the way. Big defensive foot right there in the way. And somehow the Bruins able to keep it in bounds. First by, I believe it was Trout and then Luckett. Ball go down into the corner. North with it now. Jerio with the ball. Trying to get a run out on Maldonado on that <laughs> side. Shaw comes up, another slide, and scoops up the ball before Maldonado could get to it. Lead pass just a little too far out front, but he, he didn't have a choice. Defense would have cut anything else off. Best down with it for the Bruins. Medic point, not quite able to get to it. Trout and Medic going to chase after this one. <laughs> They'll both go down. Be a yeah. foul on Central. North Harden throw in on the far side. No, they're going to have a free kick here. This one will come to Allen. I was thinking that Emery would be there for the pass. Eric able to bring it up for the Trojans. Not able to get enough on that pass. <laughs> Best with it. Wells Emery gets taken to the ground. And Best ready to. I believe Hall is going to come up and be the one who takes this one. So that one to the far side. Lauren Trout down there for the Bruins. That's fine. Trying to keep it in. Trying to get it to Emory. North able to send it out. It's past Borgandine, but Trivis there with it. Right now, Williams gets it back for the Trojans. Well, Barrick now with the ball at midfield. Over to Putheronzi on the far side. As defense and offense both shift to the left. Cross there, headed out by Best. Eighteen thirty to go here in the ball game. North clears it back. <clears throat> Comes over on this side to Jamal Rashid at the thirty-five. Passes to Cerna. Changes directions a couple of times. Goes back to Barrett. Best there again to head that one out. Allen with the ball now. They'll send it down and try to get a run out to luck it. And it'll be Tyler Putheranci who comes out, scoops the ball up. Beat him to the ball, but not by much.
Serna with the ball. Passes down to <coughs> Rogerio. Back to Barrett. To Manic. Round of Putharanzi. Flyer over on the side. But Brown able to get that ball back for the Bruins. <coughs> Luckett going to send outside, trying to get it to Allen. Allen going to end up getting it before it goes out of bounds. Rashid comes over to provide the defense. Now to go off Rashid will be yes. a corner kick. <coughs> and that will allow substitutions on both sides. We'll Singh and Melcher back into the lineup for the Bruins. Scott Nelson See, Scott back Nelson. in. Noah Crispert in. Zach Mueller's back into the ball game. We're going to take this one. Blake Kingman, number 21, checks in for the first time tonight for the Bruins. Low kick into the middle. She <laughs> didn't head that one out. Organing tried to send it right back in and almost gets <laughs> past. <laughs> almost. Luther Rancy, a good job. <laughs> and I think. Puth Rancy thought Luckett was going to come up for the ball. And Luckett acted like he was going to put his head out and then stopped. Puth Rancy luckily diving to get that one. Melcher going to try to chase this one down. Catches it before it goes out. And try to chip inside. Puth Rancy there as Blair provided the opening defense. Mueller with the ball. He'll let it go out and be a throw in for the Bruins. Looks like Eli Best will come up to have this throw in. We're down to 15-15. Scored in tonight's ball game. This one's going to be thrown in, trying to get a header to Luckett. Blair clears it out. In the first half at the 15-13 mark, it was Luke Luckett on a corner kick from, or sorry, on a throw in by Cody Hall, headed it into the back of the net. And here in the second half, Tribune swing just seeing just a minute 45 into the second half after a corner kick is bounced around. Seeing able to find the back of the net, giving the Bruins their 2 0 lead. Another Bruin throw in down here at the right corner. And that one, <laughs> Luckett tries to get to, <coughs> just pokes it a little too high as it goes over the goal. It'll be a goal kick for the Trojans. Barrick back into the lineup for the Trojans. And Puzzaranzi boots that one out to the 40. We have <coughs> a little pushing, I think. Foul on the... Bruins will be a free kick for the Trojans. Wallace will quickly, quickly kick it over to Cerna. Once again, Barrett. to Barrett. Back to Cerna. Over in the middle to Jamal. Rashid. Long shot or pass. Well, one and hop. Rogerio, it looked like he almost went through his legs. <laughs> and uh, Williams just not there in time as Shaw steps up and gets the save. Barrick with it for the Trojans. Kingman drops it back to Best. He'll drop it back to Shaw. All the way back. And Williams going to step in front of that pass. Williams finds some space. Shot, and it's kicked <laughs> away by, I believe it's Cody Tribus. No, it's Eli Best. 
Yeah, Bess. Bess with the sliding kick is the ball had gotten past Shaw after a lazy pass uh, from Shaw. He was trying to get it out. Williams got in front of it. Eludes the first defender and then the shot as Eli Bess comes sliding in. Kicks it out. I have a free kick for the Bruins. Shaw to take this one. Number 21 for the Trojans there. Running off Crispert. Crispert. Got way in for the Bruins. <coughs> Cody Trivis here ready to throw in on the near side. As That'll go out. A throw in for the Trojans. Maldonado checks back in for the Trojans. And now Jamal Rashid has stepped out of bounds to throw in. He tosses back to Hunter Serna across to at it. All driving up the right side. No one really stepped in front of him yet. It's all the way down to about the 38 yard line. He'll drop it back to Cerna. Seems like Cerna and Rashid have switched positions as Rashid's usually more near the middle of the field. Cerna more on this defensive or offensive left side. Mueller in there battling for the ball, but North keeps it. Rogerio gets it to Barrett. Barrett going to Take a shot, it'll go wide to the left and be a goal that kick. Mueller's on the ground, I don't know. Base stoppage. Well, with this, we will recognize our camera crew again, the director, C.J. Carroll, uh, student director, Sabrina Bergman, and graphics, Ms. Jetta Reed, with camera operators, Alex Greer and Nigel Martin. This is an HCEC community, educational and community television student production. HCEC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools, and our live Channel 1 programming is sponsored in part by, now they still have uh, Mueller on the ground. <clears throat> out there checking him out. I don't know the trainer. Or <clears throat> our sponsors, we want to thank them for all the support they give for all of the activities at HCEC. TV is able to bring to you. Brandenburg Telecom provides service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates giving more personal attention for more effective results with locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Radcliffe, Brandenburg, Bardstown, and Lowell. Or online at physicaltherapyky.com. etownapartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Take a virtual tour today at etownapartments.com. Bluegrass Cellular offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere where wireless works. Visit us today at bluegrasscellular.com. Etana exterminating 737-6900 or online at muggabug.com. And Mueller must be injured more seriously than I realized, Bobby. I mean, he's not moving much out there. They're talking to him, and, and you don't want to speculate, but it seems... They're not really working on anything physical. No, I thought like, he was holding his left arm, but I really couldn't tell. Uh, West Point Bank has five offices located in Elizabethtown, Raffles, Upton, Glendale, and West Point, or find them online at westpointbank.com. Let us help make life simpler. West Point Bank, hometown banking made simple. And Bobby said, tomorrow night, will you be live at Central? Yes, okay. it will be live. I will not. Um, I do not do the football. The football I do it for our local ESPN affiliate. Uh, but yes, HCC TV will be live tomorrow night. Big district clash between the Trojans and the Bruins, both 1 0, as both teams defeated uh, Meade County. A thriller of a game last week <laughs> as Central Harden uh, scores with 41 seconds to go to tie it. Uh, had to get a two point conversion to tie it, and then um, scored a touchdown and held the Green Wave out of the end zone. 
in the overtime to get the victory. A couple of weeks ago, uh, North Harden was able to defeat Meade County, and the final score, 40-26, uh, to 26, not indicative <laughs> of the score itself. North Harden was up uh, just two points to go uh, with about a minute to go in the game and uh, just trying to run the clock out. Running back was able to take it to the house, and then Meade County started throwing it, and on the last play of the game actually threw an interception that was returned for a touchdown. So um, while it... The scoreboard says 14 points. It was a lot closer than that, and that's kind of the game we're expecting tomorrow night as well from both of these teams. Caleb Boydston, the Hard Memorial Health Sports Medicine trainer, is out on the field with Zach Mueller now. Boydston is typically the uh, sports medicine trainer assigned to North Harden, so he traveled over tonight. Each of the four high schools in our area each have a uh, trainer that is assigned to them. It goes to all of the, the varsity games. Well, Mueller is sitting up, but they... And Boyston has stayed. Caleb has stayed on his left side the entire time. Mm -hmm. They're going to help him to his feet. And I hope it's just an arm injury. Athletic director here at Elizabethtown High School, Glenn Spaulding, brings the cart out. This is one of the nice things about the turf field. You can drive True. a cart out there and it doesn't bother <laughs> anybody. Um, a lot of football coaches are very particular about their football field and what gets driven on it. And you know, They don't want the band practicing on it. They don't want the soccer team practicing on it. Uh, but with the turf facilities here at E-Town, uh, Makes it a lot more convenient for everybody. Well, we hope the young man is not seriously injured. I can't. He's still holding his left elbow. We are at the 10 minute. 17. Actually, the official just came over and said to roll it down to 9.45. Oh, okay. So I think they're going to set it. Be nine minutes and 45 seconds to go. As Mueller's going to be taken to the far sideline. He does appear to be holding his left arm as they take him off the field. Young man certainly plays hard. He, he's all over the field. <clears throat> so Shaw puts the ball back into play here with a goal kick and now central. Kicks it out of bounds. Will be North Harden throw in the 9:30 mark. Barrick with the ball, passes back to Serna. Off, off Travis. Serna with the throw in, and we do see. Seems like there's a sense of urgency now by the Trojans. Single will get called for that foul. And I think Serna's about to draw a yellow card <laughs> as Singh kicked the ball away, which he shouldn't have done. And uh, Cerna kind of gave him the elbow into the midsection, and the side judge saw that. So there will be yeah. a yellow card. And you're going to give one to Singh as well. And with the yellow card, both of them have to go off the field. Biggest player on the field for Central Harden right now is the clock. They can play a lot of keep away for nine minutes. If North can poke one in, they still have to score another to tie. So. That's how the official going to go over. Let's say something to the other official on that sideline. Back out. Marks it ready to play. Rashid with the kick. And goes out of bounds off north. Big goal kick for Central Harden. And Shaw will take this one. And he doesn't have to hurry. I don't know if they have a time limit on getting the kick off, but 
he can take his time right now as much as possible. Kicks this one out low, down to almost to the 50. And Cerna, Alex Blair with it. He kicks back on the other side. To, I think that's Kyler Medic. Number 21. Alamado with it outside to Blair. That'll go out of bounds. I'll throw in for the Bruins. As single check back into the lineup. Central Harden throw in. North gets a hitter on it. It's I think Blair kicked that one downfield. Playing ping pong right now. Irwin for Central. Up to Luckett. Singh going to try to get down there as Booth Rancy comes <laughs> out to collect it. Rolls it out here to Cerna on this side, and he starts downfield. Passes to Barrett. <coughs> Travis gets it line. back to Allen. Up to Luckett. She there for the Trojans. He'll drop it back to Medic, who drops it back to Putharansi. Back outside to Cerna. Gets it up to Blair. Blair not able to really control it. Trojans get it to Barrick. Up to Nelson. Trying to lead Williams there, but... <laughs> Allen came <coughs> down hard on his back as Cerna has slid underneath him. Free kick for the Bruins. Rogerio heads it back out to Barrick. Back here to Rogerio. Across to Blair. Nelson on the far side. Seeing providing the defense, trying to get it back. <laughs> They'll both go down. Be a foul. I think that was a take down. <laughs> Might have been called a defensive holding on the football field. <coughs> Pass interference. All to take this free kick. Trying to get it down to Luckett. I'm going to say a throw in for the Trojans. Medic was going to go throw, and it went out near the <laughs> in line. He was up near the goal line when he threw it. The official sends him back. <coughs> and we'll have a substitution as Lucas Putharansi checks back in to the lineup for the Trojans. Barrett with the ball. Oops. Foul on Barrett. Free kick for the Bruins. Hall to take it. Quickly take it. He's trying to send it to the outside where Singh was at. Singh will be able to get back to it. So drop it off for Doran. Back to Hall. Try to send it in. That'll go beyond all of the central players. It'll be a goal kick for the Trojans. And each one of those takes a few seconds to get back in play and put the ball back in play. We're now under four minutes. Oh, another substitution. Now he can run one any time the ball is dead, can't he? Mm -hmm. And that takes a few seconds off each time. This one off the head from Emery. It's out to sing. 
Nelson comes back for the Trojans. Cleared out by the Trojans, but Hall there for the Bruins to get it. Blocked by Barry. Nelson heads it out to Maldonado. Eric with the ball. Emery covering him. It's a Ronsi. Couldn't, couldn't control it and went out of bounds. Uh, substitutions on both sides. Austin Melcher back into the lineup for Central. Austin Rainwater checking in for North. First time in tonight's ball game. And that exchange took almost 25 seconds, Bobby. Rainwater with it. Now Barrick with it. Luckett comes out with it for the Bruins. <laughs> And Melcher started to switch spots with Luckett <laughs> as Luckett thought he was going to go to the corner. Goal kick. And at the two-minute mark, North with the ball, but and the pass was behind. Shaw comes out and scoops 12. it up. Barrick again over to Cerna, into the middle, <clears throat> to Ruggiero. All twisted his ankle as he went down. And this is a situation where with a minute 30 to go, what you don't <laughs> want if you're Coach Maddox, yeah. with a 2-0 lead and it looks like Central's going to win, you don't want any of your players getting hurt. And uh, Just play keep away. <laughs> yep. And I know you've got to keep in certain players. This is a lot different than... Uh, like a basketball game or even a football game. Long pass will come to Luckett. Knocked around Melcher now with it. Gets it back to Luckett. Rashid going to clear it out. Over on the far side. We're under a minute to go. Williams with it. Drops off for Rosario. Good stop by Barrick, but a good steal by the Bruins. Oh. All with it. Send it up to Singh on the far side. They'll try to get it. It'll be an offsides called on Luckett. And now it's just a matter of letting the clock wind down. Eric with the ball. Singh kicks that one out of bounds. And the North Harden, I'm sorry, the Central Harden faithful standing on their feet. That shot Shaw will get to. We get under five seconds, and that will do it. Central Harden will advance on to the Sweet 16 in high school soccer this year as they knock off the two-time defending champ, North Harden Trojans, 2-0. to zero. That was the identical score last week. Yes, it was. In the district championship. And... In that scoring in the first half, it was Luke Luckett with 15-13 to go. And they throw in from Cody Hall, put it in the net, gave the Bruins a 1-0 lead. And then just a minute 44 into the second half, it was Tribuon seen off of a corner kick, putting it into the net. And Central Harden will advance on. And check your listings for next week's action. Not sure if Central Harden will be at home or on the road. Again, they will be playing a seventh region team. Don't have any finals from up there as of a couple of minutes ago. Do want to congratulate both teams on their season and their efforts here in the championship game of the regional tournament. Best wishes to Central Harden as they move on to the face of seventh region champs. We're going to keep it here while they will name uh, three players from North Harden to the all-tournament team 
and four players from Central Harden to the All-Tournament team. And then the region runner-up and the region championship trophy. I say that. Yes, Coach Lynn Spalding, the athletic director here at Elizabethtown High School. While wow, Mr. Spalding is getting ready, we want to again thank our camera crew, C.J. Carroll, and director, student director, Sabrina Bergman, um, graphics, Toyota Reed, and camera operators, Alex Greer and Nigel Martin. Jamal Rashid, named to the all-tournament team from the Trojans. Barrett. Barrett, number seven for the Trojans. Number 11, Darnell Williams. Darnell Williams. It was well good, well played game, but it was a defensive battle the whole So nice scores. Both came off the of things <laughs> from the sidelines. It was, you know, throw in from Hall and then a corner kick uh, later in the game on Singh's goal. Number 18, Eli Best. Eli Best from Central Harden. Central has a good turnout here in fans, don't they? Number 10, Cody Hall. Hall. Shaw, the goalie, pitches two oh, shutouts here in the region tournament. That last and shot may have been the toughest one to head to field. <laughs> it was. And you think back to their, in the district semifinals, they play the number one seed and undefeated Elizabethtown Panthers here at E-Town High School. E-Town undefeated in district play. And it goes to... Uh, penalty kicks mm -hmm. and Shaw comes up with the last two stops on Elizabethtown and uh, they were able to win 4-3 in penalty kicks 2-1 on the scoreboard runner up trophy to North Harden and the game ball and the region championship trophy Zach Mueller on the... No, that's uh, Nolan, I believe it's Colin Green. Oh, okay. Is being uh, wheeled out. And we saw before the game all of the, the warm-up jerseys with the C Green on the back with the number eight. And he will be awarded the region championship game ball and trophy. So again, congratulations to Central Harden as they win the region and move on to the state. Uh, congratulations to North Harden for making it to the championship and for their <coughs> efforts, the great game that they played tonight. This has been a Harden County Educational Community Television Student Production. HCC TV is a division of Harden County Schools. Live Channel One programming, sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, etownapartments.com, Bluegrass Cellular, Etown Exterminating, and West Point Bank. Bob, it's been fun. You it has been fun <laughs> for all of our workers here, student workers here at HCC TV. For Coach Dwayne Ellis, I'm Bobby Thompson saying so long and good night.
been a Hunting County Educational and Community Television student production. Live local sports are on Brandenburg Telecom Channel 1, and all rebroadcast on Brandenburg and Comcast Cable's Channel 2, Spectrum Communications Channel 184, and on our YouTube site. Also check out our live sporting events on nfhs.com or visit us at hudden.k12.ky.us. Hudding County Educational and Community Television located in Hudding County, Kentucky, a division of Hudding County Schools. Airing on Brandenburg, Comcast, and Spectrum, and also streaming online. Providing live coverage of local high school sports. Covering community and school events. While teaching students along the way. HCEC TV, the area's leading educational and government access channel, training the next generation of media arts students. Control your home even when you're not there with Brandenburg Telecom's home automation service. Turn lights on and off, lock and unlock doors, and change settings on your thermostat using your smartphone or tablet. Stop worrying whether or not you remember to close the garage door and save money by programming your thermostat to reduce energy used when you're not home. Call Brandenburg Telecom for a free quote and enjoy the convenience of having home automation, phone, TV, and internet service, all from one local company. Tired of your bank treating you like just another number? At West Point Bank, we understand that banking is all about relationships. Stop by West Point Bank today to experience community banking at its best. You have a choice because not all physical therapy is the same. So when you need physical therapy, come to the one chosen as Hardin County's Reader's Choice winner four years in a row. We are always working to better educate and stay ahead of the latest advancements in physical therapy. Physical therapy can get you back doing what you love to do. If you're experiencing pain, loss of mobility, or just want to feel better, come see us at Physical Therapy Associates in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Hodgenville, and now open in Brandenburg. Hey, Elizabethtown, need a new pad? Hop on over to eTownApartments.com or call 268-RENT for all your rental needs. Look for our trucks, they're all over town. We have apartments, townhomes, duplexes, and houses. Remember to hop on over to etonapartments.com or call 268-RENT for all your rental needs. With a more complete nationwide network and faster data speeds, Bluegrass Cellular helps you stay connected to your community. With people who take the time to connect with you, you'll always feel like you're part of ours. Throughout October, our most popular phones come with a 25% off treat. Choose from a range of iconic phones like the LG G6, LG V20, Samsung Galaxy S8, and S8 Plus for 25% off. Bluegrass Cellular, within reach. Town Exterminating, a locally owned, family-run pest control company, has been serving Hardin County and the surrounding area since 1976. E-Town Exterminating provides pest control for residential and commercial properties. E-Town Exterminating on Ring Road in Elizabethtown. Phone 737-6900. E-Town Exterminating. What the buzz is all about. For additional information on HCEC TV programming, call 270-769-8855 or email gina.ryan at hardin.kyschools.us. On behalf of HCEC-TV, we would like to thank all of our live sports coverage sponsors.